Hello everyone, it's Jamie here, and you're listening to Serials, the PNN webcast series that chronicles your stories. My question for you today is this. Do you love Elsie? Of course you do. Everyone loves Elsie. We love Elsie here at Serials, and we thought she'd be the perfect person to kick off Arts and Crafts Week for us. Elsie is a painter. She sells her prints on Etsy.com. But her main gig is designing her own line of scrapbooking supplies for KI Memories. And you know what it's called? Love Elsie. So appropriately titled. Anyway, Elsie's here with us today to talk about the world of arts and crafts. There are a lot of components to the Love Elsie line. I just had to know what Elsie's work process was like to get this all done on time. Usually at first we start out with just like the colors and kind of the concept of it and it's always just fun to see how it evolves. A lot of my papers are handmade so I do that all just like paint, stitching, collage, collages and stuff like that at home. Um, I do all of that by hand and then they just like scan it and take it from there in Photoshop and stuff and then sometimes I'll just do like icons and then they'll make um, stuff out of it digitally, the graphic designers who work at KI. So, yeah, I think that it's all, like, there's different ways that we do different products. Certain things we'll decide not to use, and then we'll add in a few more at the end, and stuff like that always tends to happen. It feels like, I mean, definitely when something comes out or is released, then usually, like, the next week we're working on the next release, so it's kind of a continuous thing in my world, for sure. There can be a certain sense of snobbery associated with the words art and craft, so we had to ask Elsie whether she considered herself more of an artist or a crafter, and what her opinion on the whole art versus craft discussion was. Well, I think that most of what I do could could go either way. Um, a lot of it, like with the scrapbooking, would definitely lean towards the side of a craft. And I definitely don't think that there's anything negative that I associate with the word craft. I mean, I think that really anything can have a negative connotation if you've let it. But there are so many just like cute, trendy artists right now who do crafts. And I just think it's great. So um, I definitely don't think that there's anything offensive about the term at all. I guess it just doesn't matter to me. Um, yeah, I, it's just a word, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> Elsie's four newest lines will be released in February and April of this year, and their names are Claire, Cody, Daisy, and Forrest. Claire is a girly line. It has a lot of, like, sleepover, shopping kind of themes to it. Cody is a boy line, and it's the first collection I've ever done with sports. So that was kind of really fun and challenging for me because I'm not not really super athletic and I don't have children yet. So that was that was really fun. I really like the colors in that collection. Then I have Daisy, which is a pet line. Um, mostly puppy stuff. It has really bright, fun colors and really cute little icons. And Forest, which is kind of a nature line. Um, it's really good for, like, camping and Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. And it's my personal favorite just because this year I'm really into, like, trees and wood grain and those kind of earthy colors. Elsie is also going to be releasing a new idea book. I'm really excited about it. I think that out of everything I've done in the scrapbooking industry, this is probably the thing that I'm the most proud of. Um, it is a recipe book, um, kind of like cooking themed, because I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of our booth at CHA, but it's shaped like a kitchen and kind of has like the designs of a kitchen, and we usually wear like aprons and stuff, and we've always done a lot with like cupcakes and stuff. So, um, yeah, it kind of goes along those lines, and it has sections in it for different ways to be inspired to do scrapbooking pages. Um, there's one for movies, music, art, books, um, one more, fashion. And all of those, um, we just took, we would take, like, a shirt or, like, a movie and then do a scrapbook page based on it. So I did that with my design team, and 
I'm just really, really happy with how it came out. I think that it's really fun. And it's really user-friendly because you can just take one card and, um, you know, take it to a crop or have it out on your table without having, like, the whole book out and open and stuff like that. So 